neutral field. Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. Second and five. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. He's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offense coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it. Thank you. They'll just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. And just four yards on the pickup, and that's good enough to extend the drive. Faced with their first third down conversion opportunity and able to punch it through and pick it up on the ground. And to me, doing it on the ground sends a different type of a message than throwing the football. And, you know, let's face it, we've done a lot of games together. How often have we seen third down turn into an automatic passing down no matter what the yardage? Yeah, and last thing you want, that opening drive to go three and out. You got everything scripted, lined up. Let's get some points on the board, and they're able to avoid that three and out. Throwing his hurts. Oh, he want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away, but the bottom line is that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and ten. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. Turning it for a pick six. That was about the worst start you could ask for in this one because your advantage of getting the ball first is gone, and they're set up a short distance from your end zone. Now you're counting on your defense to prevent a touchdown, and your offense, you better be ready to come out swinging on the next series. on first and ten and he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five a quick burst there and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game here we 
here we go. Here so we go. from the 25, this is second and five. 11, 11. Ten. Garoppolo looks to throw. That's caught by Myers. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. Parker, that's excellent timing right there. Breaking off the route and being able to hit it right when he stops. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Jacob's going to try the middle. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Brandon, you're a big lover of music. How about what you just saw there? This is what I call playing the piano for a defensive lineman. The ability to move laterally up and down the line of scrimmage. How about the way he just flowed and got to the outside part of the field and made that play? And it's going to be caught for a later touchdown. Jacoby Myers from eight yards out. And the Raiders take the early turnover and convert it into an opening Daniel touchdown. Carlson, now for the extra point, Daniel Carlson. And that makes it seven zip Vegas. Daniel Carlson, Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Now remember the last time out they threw the interception that led to the touchdown so now time to regroup it certainly is and their goal right now as they go back out on the field a calming drive something that takes the ball keeps it for a while lets the defense relax a little bit lets the offense regain confidence in their game plan well maybe that'll help him settle back into a groove after the interception on the first drive here picking up the first to start drive number two and it is just starting over, isn't it? Sometimes it's just how you have to do it. You have to erase things from your mind. Don't worry about what happened before because over the course of a game, the good players, things turn out pretty well for them, and that's what he's trying to do here. Here's a handoff to Swift running left. And a lane slow materializing there as he'll get maybe a yard up to the 45. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Now second quarter action from Philadelphia, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it with a second and four coming up. plays in succession both north of 20 yards two big plays in succession not sure this D knows what hit him but now they got to get ready it's first and goal Swift gonna try up the middle and he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven the yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line that's good work defensively there on first down holding them to a short gain the line of scrimmage the seven now on second and goal One more time with Swift. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. 
His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. He'll look to throw. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Well, they're going to try this. They need five full yards to hit the end zone here on fourth and goal, but they're going for it. And now this is going to be close. The defense says they stopped him, and they did. They get the completion but cannot push forward into the end zone, and the Raiders hang tough down near the goal line. Here we go, here we go, here we go. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got him that 7 nothing lead. Of course they would. And look, they're on the road. Taking it right down Broadway. Now he breaks free in the middle of the field. And finally taken down at the 34. A big play there on the catch and run. 66 yards. He's already got one touchdown in his first half already. That very nearly was a second. Defensively, they're going to have to figure something out because he's been able to outrun the defenders early and often so far. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. But what they're seeking with an RPO is space for the receiver to make a catch and then make a play downfield, but there wasn't any space available. Thus, the incompletion. On second down, Jacobs. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7 nothing ball game. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. Well, he had a man open. He overshot him. It's incomplete. Oh, 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 you can't help but have flashbacks to the fourth quarter of Super Bowl 54. Emmanuel Sanders overthrown. And that was a similar tough throw there. Another one he'd love to have back, but another one he'd take a shot at, too. Carlson able to put this one through. So another scoring drive there, Charles, and an early two-score lead. You'd like the six there, partner, but you'll take the three, and I think they have to be happy about the way they moved the ball on these first two drives. They have to feel good about their opportunities the rest of the game. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Nothing for him yet from an offensive standpoint. Down 10 zip as they come up first and 10. Hurt sets up to throw it. He finds his man complete. It's Watkins. And they work this well upfield across the 45. But first down, Hurts. It's caught on the right side of Smith. They'll get it inside the 20. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Devontae Smith, 54 yards. And the Eagles are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. I think if you pulled defensive backs, 
they would say the corner route take that out make it illegal because that is so hard to recognize and so hard to adjust because your first move is to not get beat in the middle of the field and that's how they move you first before they break off to the corner but then it's a wide receiver great job it's tough to turn those upfield and go but he did a great job over there really good balance really good body control and how about the end result a touchdown No return here for Carter, and this will be a touchback. Here we go. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. And still plenty of time remaining here in the half, more than a minute. And we'll see if they just want to protect that lead or try to add on to it. Well, with as much time as is left on the clock, I would imagine it would be the latter. I think they're going to try and add on to it. So what they're going to tell the team is very simply, if you can get out of bounds after making a play downfield, terrific. If you can't, everyone hustle to the line of scrimmage, either run another play or clock it and start over again. Garoppolo's and yeah, this throw brought in here by Mayer. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Garoppolo now, first down throw. The throw out wide, going to be incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground, incomplete. Hey, come on, come on, come on. Garoppolo again here on second and 10. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Garoppolo again. That one complete to Trey Tucker. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. And now whistles and a flag. And I think we got a jump here. A bit of a jump there, CD. He breaks the line, and that'll be five yards. And you've got to stay more disciplined than that, Brandon. That's just a free gift to the offense. Here we go, here we go, so here we go. a first and five now after the five-yard penalty from the neutral zone infraction. One, Omaha. Now a play fake. Garoppolo. Open man is Tucker. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. Well, every now and then I can speak from experience because I do know, as a defender, it is awfully hard to stay with your man on these crossing routes because even if you don't get picked, there's a danger of being picked either by one of their receivers or maybe by your own defender. And on that play, that worked quite well. 65, 65. Throwing on first is Garoppolo. And this is incomplete. Oh, he had six points right in his hands, but could not hang on. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. That's great work with the go, ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. Again, they'll throw with Garoppolo. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds. Incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball. But he was unable to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space. Couldn't uncover at the end of the route. And that one winds up incomplete. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. Throwing now is Garoppolo. And the throw there going to be incomplete. 
Well, I see some pride in this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. The kick by Carlson is good, and the lead stretches to six here. It's 13 7. Well, in a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner? Because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Going deep here for Watkins. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't really Partner, they're not content to run this one out as we head towards the half, trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score. Now, this is a confident group. At the very least, they're thinking field goal. Yeah, and I don't blame them one bit. I don't think you sit on the ball going into the half when you have a chance to put some more points on the board. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Here's Hurts to throw. Airing it out deep for Smith. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Merrig. And his guys have got it back in the closing stages of the first half. Wow, a big mistake there. Late interception in this first half, and that could lead to a field goal try the other way. Yeah, I think at this point, he just had to say, let's take a knee and go in at the half and regroup. Let's just talk it over a little bit. I wonder, partner, was the analytics coach in his head a little bit? Maybe go ahead and press it and try and get some points. While the old school coach probably would have said, take the knee, let's get out of here. Now we could see points the other way here. So, barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Incomplete. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. The Raiders with the lead already, and they will get the football here as the second half is now underway. DeAndre Carter now from his end zone. And not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. This offense set to begin the third quarter, and Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half. A big seam, and he might go all the way. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. 
25 yards there on the catch and run. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Meanwhile, Garoppolo's throw into the hands of Hooper. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Well, it certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense. And guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you got a heck of a tight end candidate. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Here's Garoppolo on first and ten. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact. But in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. Second and ten now. Third quarter action from Philadelphia, PA. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. A short throw, and that's held in by Mayer. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. It's not cool about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. So third and two. This quite possibly four-down territory, though, if they're stopped. Garoppolo to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles 19. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. Here we go. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Inside the red zone, it's Garoppolo. Hitting Mayer here on the out route. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. And yet again, it's Garoppolo. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Jalen Carter able to use that strength to get him for a loss of two. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. They'll run with Jacobs. And he's not going to get anywhere close to the marker as they'll stop him well short of the yellow line. And three yards on the carry there as his defense holds strong and takes it to fourth and goal. The kick by Carlson is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, they picked up right where they left off in the first half. First drive after the break, they come away with three and increase that lead. Yeah, and you just want to keep building on that lead, don't you? Whether it's six points or three points, take everything you can get, keep maneuvering, keep adding to it, keep making it difficult for them to come back. After the made field goal, Carlson now sets up to kick this away. 
And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And their deficit a little wider now than it was at halftime following the field goal a moment ago. But the goal is still the same because you know they want to come out, establish a rhythm in the second half, and get going. Make no mistake about it, though. Kicking field goals, not in their game plan. They need to get involved in the end zone. At the 35 yard line. Throwing his hurts. That is caught. It's the tight end Goddard. And he will be taken down, but a big pickup there on what's going to be the final play of the third quarter. Three quarters in the books. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's the Eagles behind on the scoreboard, but with the football here as we start the fourth quarter. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. Hurts. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. It hasn't been the cleanest game for him, but there was a sign of improvement as he looks towards the next one. Nice bit of scrambling to move the sticks, and even more importantly, he didn't risk adding another interception to his ledger. On first and ten, it's Hurts. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. Fast, slow, it doesn't matter. If you give a quarterback enough room to escape, he can hit you for a big game. You've got to give him a little more focus moving forward. Here's Swift. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second in goal. Not a whole lot there on first and goal, and that's what you're looking for defensively. You'll certainly live with giving up just a yard or two in this situation. Going silver, ready? So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Can't afford another delay here as they come up again on second and goal. Hey, Silver, Silver, Silver. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. They'll look to throw on third and goal. That time, 12 yards on the pass play, but still shy of where they needed to go. Fourth and goal. Nice completion, nice gain. Great tackle. Really good tackle. Kept him in bounds, kept things going. What do you do here? That's the question. Let's see what they do. Go, 
The field goal doesn't help. They're going to go for the six here on fourth and goal. King, Phil King, Phil King. They will run for it with Gainwell. And this winds up a disaster. Nowhere near the marker. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And the Raiders hang tough down near the goal line. Here we go, here we go. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. Big stop on the turnover on downs to get the football back, and now it's just all about salting this one away. Yeah, just slowly bleed the clock away. Clock's definitely on your side. And, you know, when we talk about analytics in the game, what is this one, the advanced win metrics? Because if you take care of the football hey, on, here, bleed the clock down, what they about 95% chance of Oh, yeah, I'd say 95 or better. I, and I know you always say it, every coach does. It's just protecting the football at this point. And here knowing go, go, that the defensive go. guys, they're coming after the ball more than they are the person. They want to knock it free. 11, 11. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And they'll get him down here at the 23. Seven yards there and a first down. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get him behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. And showcasing those strong legs on that run, getting through one tackle. Now she winds up getting eight there. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. And Jacobs is going to have a Raiders first down as he'll get this up past the 35-yard line. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. Here we go, here we go. So from the 36 now, first and 10. White, white, white. Once again, it's Jacobs. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? Just give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence and in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. On third down, here comes Jacobs. And he'll take this for a short gain on what will prove to be the final play of this ball game. 